Listing Sellers. Today we learn about the Listing Management Dashboard. This will help sellers in understanding My Listing tab. Log in to your seller account. Go to the Listing tab and click on My Listing. This will take you to a new page where you can see some tabs relevant to your listings. In this page, all the listings are being segregated as per their status. Example, if you click on the active listing, you will get information about the listings that are listed in the active listing. Let's show you how different tabs work. First, let's talk about active listing tab. All your listings that are live will be reflected under active listing. For finding any listing, there are different filter options available on the platform. It can be as per category or brand or listing or F-assured, etc. Example, if you want to check for listings that are F-assured, choose that filter and click Apply. You will get all the files that are listed under F-assured. To remove the filter, click Reset. You can also see all the details of all the listings here like listing price, stock, category, settlement calculator and fulfillment type. You can change the listing price and stock from this page. You can also see fulfillment time, procurement time, additional info column and actions that you can take. You can also customize the column according to your requirements you will get a default view but you can choose to remove any filter from here for example if you want to remove stock just click on that box and it will remove the stock from your view for checking the listing details click on the particular listing a new window will open that will have details on price settlement calculator inventory performance f assured details and catalog details Catalog details are related to the listing size. If size details are not available for your listing, you can update it in the below tab. If it is not mandatory to enter the size details for this listing, then it will not show at all. Now, let's learn some more about additional info. Here, you can see buttons like Calculator, Desktop, FA and CM. Clicking over the calculator sign will show you listing price details and shipping calculator page. Clicking over the desktop icon will help you visualize how your listing will look on the Flipkart page. The third icon is FA badge icon that is F assured. If the badge color is red that means you have lost the F assured badge because of poor performance. If it is in blue it means your product is performing well and if it turns yellow, it's a warning sign that you might soon lose the F-assured badge. The last icon, CM, is for the size chart. This brings you the catalogue page of that listing. In this page, you can find the listing size chart. If the size chart is not available, then you don't need to make any changes. If this icon is blue, it means size chart is available for that listing. Grey means the desirable size is not available and if the icon is not showing, it means it is not available. Now you can also download the bulk file from this page. You can also choose the number of listings you would like to download bulk file for. Click on the drop down and choose this page or all pages as per the filters you have chosen before. Bulk files will be downloaded only for the selected listings. Ready for activation tab. Ready for activation refers to the status given to products that were made inactive earlier on account of quality or operational issues but are now ready from Flipkart side to make. Active examples of operational issues include high return percentage, poor quality product or high returns. A seller can move these listings to active state when he wants. Blocked listings tab. If you chose the blocked listing tab, you will see all the listings that are being blocked and the exact reason for which these listings are blocked. 
the tab will also guide you on actions that can be taken to get the listings unblocked. You can make the necessary changes in the listings and send them for QC to get them unblocked. Inactive Listing tab If a seller wants to discontinue selling some listings for a shorter period of time, then he can temporarily move them to Inactive tab. When he wants to sell them again, he can move them back to Active tab. Archived Listing tab There are two types of listings that can go under Archive Listing tab. A. If a seller no longer wants to sell a listing on Flipkart, he can move those listings under Archive. Listings that are not sold for a very long time on Flipkart are also moved to Archive tab by Flipkart. There is a search option also available at the top right corner of the page that you can use to find your listing. Go to search bar and search by FSN, title or SKUID of that listing. Example, if you are looking for a Samsung listing, just type the listing title in that search box and press enter. It will show you all the listings that are under the Samsung title. Thank you for watching the dashboard listing process. For more detailed Flipkart process videos, please like, share and subscribe for the latest information on Flipkart processes.